All right. So um, again, talking about some uh, um, applications, domains where we think that uh, experimental AI could have um, could bring uh, big influence, hopefully a positive influence on on, on those domains. Um, before that, the big four and all the consulting people and, and economic experts, they see the huge potential of uh, AI in general. It, and it goes as far as 15 trillion uh, US dollars of transitional opportunity. Um, however, we cannot leverage this opportunity per se for the time being because of this problem that has been uh, um, repeated uh, during this session. Um, the topic of uh, the, the, the keyword is criticality. We, we still do not trust uh, the algorithms on critical uh, decisions. Um, again, it has been said the algorithmic black box, meaning that the, uh, the algorithms take the decisions without us understanding why and how. And I mean by us, not only non-technical people, but even the technical people who build the algorithms in themselves, sometimes they don't understand how the algorithms arrive at their decisions. And luckily, as has been discussed, the new technology experimental AI solves this problem more or less. It shows us the rationale behind the decisions. And this opens new doors for us to uh, apply and leverage on, on, the new, and on the AI opportunity. So I'm going to talk about the healthcare. I'm going to focus on it because we have applied the, applied the use case here. Uh, but also I'm going to speak briefly about other business cases related to insurance, governance. We can also speak about education during the questions and answers. But let me first focus about healthcare. So if we take a decision-making uh, process based on text in the healthcare system, involving high volume of uh, text and documents uh, for this decision to be done. And of course, most, or let's say all of the decisions made in the healthcare system are critical in terms of, they're lit literally decisions for life or death. So that's why um, criticality is very relevant in, in the healthcare system. So here we have um, a challenge. The decision is either made by the machine uh, the algorithms or not non-algorithms machine. Uh, and here we have the trustworthiness question. Do we trust the machines on such uh, critical decisions or the decisions are made by humans, by medical professionals? And here comes the um, costs and times related to that. And that's why we thought of a use case to apply the explainability of uh, machine learning by developing a smart highlighting tool using the explainable machine learning um, methods, the explainable AI. We applied it on clinical researchers because again, this is a, a place uh, where a decision is made on text and a lot of text. And for each clinical research uh, for, uh, for medical professionals, um, compiling list of medical preconditions for patients to know if they are, let's say, uh, able to take uh, a certain medicine or not. This is a work of 180 hours per, per study. However, applying the XAI tool would reduce the work down to 105 hours per study. It's a saving time of 40% for the medical professionals. So, by applying this, the, the, the medical professionals would see the decisions uh, or let's say the passages that the algorithms used in order to arrive at their decisions. And of course, it is uh, optional uh, for the management of the medical uh, institute, let's say, to show their staff members those decisions or not. Because here's a question, becomes the question, uh, will this influence the decision of human or not? So very simple explanation how this works. The machine learning system would take the decision already. But now, and this is the decisive part, and this is the experimental AI part, a reversed process would calculate which, which passages of the text 
uh, did the algorithms use to arrive at their decisions? And again, this is uh, the explainable, uh, explainable uh, artificial intelligence part of the work. And finally, uh, a shortened and highlighted text will be presented to the users in order for them to take the decision. This would then speed up the decision uh, process making process. All right, so this is only in the medical field, but again, we can uh, apply this on every domain where the decision making process is critical. And we mean critical unlike, I don't know, recommendation systems for uh, online shopping or e-commerce. We're talking about insurance, we're talking about uh, governance. Uh, for example, in insurance, um, people apply uh, or submit their documents and then the insurance companies would make the decision on should this person take this type of policy, uh, insurance policy, or uh, how much this insurance policy would cover and so on. Another example would be for government authorities to decide on subsidies applications. This is a very relevant topic nowadays for uh, the Corona subsidy programs in, in Germany and elsewhere. So usually a, a decision-making process uh, here is that the applications would arrive, be it uh, paper or digital applications, and then there will be a checking process. And after that, a decision is made. We call, I, I wrote here manual decision. Of course, it could be automated decision. But again, the question is, um, do we trust the machine on such critical decisions? So applying XAI tool, for this, uh, uh, for, for this kind of process would give us a kind of ranking for the relevant factors. Again, the system would take, take the decision and then would show us why the decision has been made. And then a human would be involved to decide, yes, this is a correct decision or no. Or they would even not see the decision of the machine and would see, would see only the factors with the ranking. And then based on that, they decide. And this implies um, a difference in, in timing for the uh, duration and workload for the employees in the insurance companies or in the uh, government authorities to uh, uh, accelerate the decision making process. We believe that uh, the tools that are based on explainable AI have advantage compared to the traditional AI-based tools. In terms of trustworthiness, as we all talked about, all the speakers uh, mentioned and highlighted that they are, technically speaking, there are some, um, um, let's say, challenges for the algorithms uh, to decide uh, to arrive at their decisions. And of course, explainability. This is still, um, needed from the machine. This is still expected. We need to know why a decision is made before we trust the machine on, on it. All right, that's it uh, from our from my side also. I tried to make it uh, brief. So if you guys have any questions, any challenges, any use cases uh, uh, for XAI, please reach us uh, to, to Deep Metis, to any one of the speakers. Uh, and I guess we can now um, take the questions uh, gathered by Ferdinand, right? Uh, 